Yo squad, what is up? Pino E here. I got a dope video for today and I also want to hit 750 likes. The most we've got has been about 600 so I know I'm asking a lot. But just click the thumbs up, press subscribe and let's go. Alright, so we're going to start today off with Diadora and their upcoming collaboration with the sneaker retailer Hannon. The two team up to bring us the Hannon Diadora V7000 Midnight Express which is built using a combination of leather, suede and ostrich in a clean black and white colorway. Dual branding could be found on the tongues along with embroidered Diadora and Hannon logos on the heels in a tonal black. The release is set sometime for April but no word yet on the price. These are dope, I'll be trying for a pair. This next pair is not dope and I won't be trying for a pair because I don't like them. What we have here are the Black Rainbow Puma Clyde Sock Collection made up of two pairs in a tan or a black colorway. Both pairs feature suede with Evo knit sock collars and toe boxes with printed branding sitting on a tonal textured rubber outsole. I don't like them but they're available now for $130. Over to New Balance and I want to know how you all feel about this brand. Lately I feel that I've lost a ton of interest in them. Their models are all beginning to look similar and very bland. The quality is on point, no doubt about that, but I haven't seen anything exciting from them lately. This new colorway, it's clean. The New Balance MRL 999CC Khaki, it dropped today at select retailers. Now it's time for Adidas and there's a bunch of shoes dropping tomorrow from them, but I haven't spoke or shown the Adidas Harden Volume 1 Gravy. The shoe is built using a glitch knit upper with a matte leather detailing with a full boost mid and an icy outsole in a grey colorway. Not bad and you can find them on adidas.com and at select Foot Locker locations tomorrow for $140. Over to Nike and today they showed us a little bit behind the scenes of how airbags are made and they gave us some info I didn't know and I thought was cool. Fact number one, the airbag was suggested by an inventor named Frank Rudy to Phil Knight back in 1977. Phil Knight took him for a test run and he never looked back. Fact two, there are two Nike Air manufacturing innovation buildings. One in Beaverton and another in St. Charles, Missouri. And they're responsible for all the innovations that we've seen with air units from past to present. Fact number three. 3.5 billion air units have been produced out of those factories with a labor force of 1,300 people. 3.5 billion. That number is fucking huge. And the last fact is that every single Vapor Max airbag is made out of Beaverton. I always assumed this would be done overseas, so it's great to hear that Nike's keeping these jobs within America. Anyway, moving on. I told you, Air Max Day is really Air Max Month, and up next we have the Nike Women's Air Max Flyknit Metallic Gold Collection. The collection includes the Air Max 90 Ultra, Air Max 1 Ultra, and Air Max Thea Ultra silhouettes, with each model constructed with black and metallic gold flyknit, featuring black or gold overlays and a translucent outsole with gold glitter. The full collection drops on March 8th at select Nike sportswear retailers. Let's head over to Jordan Brand and start with a look at the Air Jordan 1 High OG Royal and it does appear that these will be releasing on April 1st for $160. As for quantities, I'm being told you could expect about the same amount of pairs that we saw of the breads. So it's not super limited but don't think that these will be an easy cop because they're not going to be. A lot of people like this colorway but the bridge trolls really love the resale on these and how easy they are to flip. So good luck. Also. I don't mean to be disrespectful to anyone in the squad, but please don't ask me how much a shoe will resell for because I don't answer those questions. I know some of you are trying to make some extra cash for whatever reason, and I hope you all do for real, but I don't like the idea of reselling a shoe and how that's completely changed people's perception about shoes. It's no longer about buying what you like, and that's changed to, oh damn, those are fire. You see how much they're reselling for? So for real, I wish you guys all luck if that's what you do, but I really don't support it. This next piece of news goes out to all of you who keep on asking Jordan Brand to release PEs. Every time I post a PE, there's always comments underneath, why doesn't Jordan Brand give us these dope colorways? Well, here they are, so now they better sell out. To celebrate March Madness, Jordan Brand is releasing the Air Jordan 31 Low in team colors for the University of California, Georgetown, Marquette, Michigan, and UNC. I think these are all dope. Each pair has the team's branding on the heel, unique insoles, translucent outsoles, 
most detailed sock liners, all with team branding, except for UNC. They only have a blue outsole with any writing on it for some reason. Jordan Brand nailed this one. Let me know if you plan to pick up any of these on March 7th when they release for $160. And last up for today, we have the first look at the Cause Air Jordan 4 collaboration. As I mentioned about a month ago or so, the shoe comes in a cool grey colorway, so I got that right. But Damn, the details on this pair is crazy. The pair features premium and textured suede, including a suede wrap midsole with a design imprinted in the suede upper. Capping this one off is a sole with cause graphics that glows in the dark. Get ready for an L, people. These will be super limited, and they are going to cost $350. For some reason, they're getting hate on Instagram right now, but I'm cool with that. So mark this down. I want them, I will get them, and I will be unboxing them for you all. And that does it for today's video everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out!